Hi again. I hope everyone is enjoying the great weather. Let's hope it stays sunny for when we all go away on our holidays. Well, today is Good Friday. Does anyone know why we call it Good Friday? Well, hopefully today we're going to tell you why. In a short time, Helen's going to go explain what today's activity is all about. But first, Tom will give us a Bible reading. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. I'm guessing like me, you're all counting down the days until we can all meet again once it's safe to. And that light at the end of the tunnel is getting larger and larger. This reading is taken from Mark chapter 15, starting at verse 22. The soldiers took Jesus to Golgotha, which means place of skull. They nailed Jesus to the cross and gambled to see who'd get his clothes. It was about nine o'clock in the morning when they nailed him to the cross. And on it, there was a sign that told why he was nailed there. It read, this is the king of the Jews. People who passed said terrible things about Jesus. They shook their heads and shouted at him. At about noon, the sky turned dark and stayed that way until around three o'clock. Jesus shouted out, took his last breath and died. Today is called Good Friday because it was a time, it was a day when God shown his great, great love for us all. So today, your activity pack contains a challenge. Your challenge is to use the contents to make a card to show your great love for somebody else. As we say in St Mary's Girl Guiding, and all the girls will tell you this boys, we say, if Helen can do it, you can do it. So, here is my Easter card made out of the contents of a pack. It's a little cross-eyed rabbit. I think it would make anybody smile or even laugh. I do love a pair of goggly eyes, don't I? Have a lovely, lovely Good Friday. And remember that photos of stuff you have done equals badges. It's me again. So if today is when Jesus died, why do we call it Good Friday? It certainly wasn't good for Jesus, was it? As we know, Jesus sacrificed himself on the cross and he did this for us, even though he did not know us. He did it for strangers and for people who had not even been born yet. How amazing is that? And it was unconditional. Jesus did not expect anything in return. How amazing is that? And by doing so, he gave us a way to receive God's amazing grace and his many blessings. He gave us a direct line to God. And that's pretty good too. By dying on the cross, Jesus connected us to the one thing that can solve all of our problems. It's God our Father in heaven. And he understands our worries and our concerns. We just need to talk to him. Jesus showed his unconditional love. And that is simply amazing. And that is why we call it Good Friday. And now Rianne is going to lead us in some prayers. Let us pray. Jesus, we are sorry for all the wrong things that we've ever done or said, in particular. I'm sorry for lying in bed when I should have been doing schoolwork. I am sorry for stealing my sister's clothes over the last year. I'm sorry for not listening. I'm sorry for arguing with my sisters over the past year. Oh, well, it's... Um, uh, oh, Sorry for not doing all my schoolwork on time. We promise to try to be good and to look for ways to help other people. Amen. On this Good Friday, we pause to remember the sacrificial love of Jesus that shines light into the darkness. It reveals hope out of devastation that seeks truth through injustice, that releases freedom in spite of imprisonment and brings us forgiveness instead of punishment. Thank you that we, that we can now walk in the light of your life. 
hope, truth, freedom and forgiveness, this day and every day. Amen. Thank you, Rianne. Our next video will be sent out on Easter Sunday, so see you then. But before we go, we've not had a song today, so we thought we'd take you to the Radio 1 Live Lounge with Stormzy singing his uplifting song, Blinded by Your Grace. Take care. See you soon. Radio One Live Lounge, Gang Signs and Prayer. Yo. I'm blinded by your grace. I'm blinded by your grace, by your grace. I'm blinded by your grace. I'm blinded by your Lord. I've been broken. You fix me, I'm blinded by your grace. You came and saved me, Lord. I've been broken, although I'm not worthy. You fix me, now I'm blinded by your grace. You came and saved me. One time for the Lord, and one time for the cause. And one round of applause, one time for Fraser T. Smith on the cause. I thought we got one, I stay prayed up, then I get the job done. Yeah, I'm Abigail's youth, but I'm God's son. But I'm up now, look at what God's done. Now I'm real tall, look at what God did. On the main stage, running around topless. I phone flips, then I tell him that we got this. This is God's plan, they can never stop this. Like, wait right there, could you stop my verse? You save this kid and I'm not your first. It's not by blood, it's not by birth. But oh my God, what a God I serve. Woo. Oh, my.